a criminal investigation into the death of Matthew Perry is nearing its conclusion, hopefully bringing his loved ones justice and peace as they approach the first anniversary of the beloved Friends actor's passing. According to renowned entertainment lawyer Trey Lovell, charges related to Perry dying from the acute effects of ketamine at age 54, in October 2023 are expected to be filed at some point in the very near future. Charges will be coming any day now. This investigation has been going on for a long time, and the leaks are starting to come out, which are probably intentional, Lovell revealed to a news publication on Monday, August 5, noting multiple arrests are likely imminent with potential suspects spanning from doctors to celebrities and drug dealers. Anonymous law enforcement sources are not going to leak stuff unless they intend on indicting, otherwise they'll get egg on their face, the veteran attorney added, explaining how doctors who may have written the 17 again star under the table prescription could be at risk of getting taken into police custody, in addition to anyone who could have sold Perry the drug illegally. If a friend or associate of Perry aided his occupancy of the horse tranquilizing drug either through in-person conversation or via a written message, they too could also face a lengthy jail sentence. There are several ways to impose criminal liability, either through the distribution of a controlled substance, an unlawful act that rose to criminal negligence or recklessness, and even in some cases involuntary manslaughter and mail fraud, Lovell mentioned. Suspects arrested in relation to the criminal case may face prison sentences of anywhere between 4 and 20 years. The looming conclusion of Perry's ketamine death investigation comes after Charlie Sheen's ex-wife Brooke Muller was reportedly questioned multiple times for her potential role in the sitcom star's loss of life. Muller, who was said to have formed an unexpected friendship with Perry while receiving treatment at the same rehab facility, was forced to hand her laptop and phone over to law enforcement, as OK previously reported. She's hired lawyers and has had multiple meetings with law enforcement since they arrived at her sober living house with a search warrant. She's being tight-lipped about the situation, a source spilled in June. It's tough to say or know exactly what her role is in Perry's death, but she's adamant she had nothing to do with that. Perry devastatingly died on October 28, 2023, after the fool's Russian actor was found unresponsive in his backyard hot tub by his assistant. The Friends Lovers and the Big Terrible Thing, a memoir author's cause of death was later determined as the acute effects of ketamine with additional other factors, including the effects of buprenorphine, drowning and coronary artery disease. The U.S. Sun spoke to Lovell about the investigation into Perry's death, 